in this lecture we are going to learn about double hashing okay so double hashing is another technique for collision resolution in a hash table okay so we learned in our previous lectures that okay hash table because if you are inserting a lot of elements and the table size is at some definite constant okay so there will be collisions so they are unavoidable so now the thing is how to handle collisions and double hashing is one of the method to do so so again so the strategy for collision resolution here is that of closed hashing where if we find that okay if let's say some element x comes and we find that h of x the cell in the hash table is already filled we try out new locations given by h i x is h of x plus f of i and modulo table size okay and here the strategy f i decides the type of function f i decides what is so there was f i is equal to i then it was linear probing if it was i square it was quadratic probing and now we are having a double hashing so in this f of i is given by i into hash 2x where hash 2 is another hash function that we are taking and the we apply a second hash function to x and then what happens f i f of 1 will be 1 into hash 2x f 2 will be 2 hash 2x f 3 will be 3 hash 2x etc and one of the good hash second hash function is r minus x mod of r where your r is a prime number okay so r is a prime number which is smaller than your table size and it is a prime number so in our case in this example we are taking h of x as x modulo 10 and h 2 x will be 7 minus x mod of 7 so we choose 7 because 7 is a prime number and it's less than the table size so it should work fine and the important thing here to note is your second hash function should not evaluate to zero because then what will happen see the disaster that will happen if it evaluates to zero then you try out multiple times f1 f2 f3 because this is zero so it will always give zero i into any hash 2 x which is zero will give zero so there will be no probing at all okay so no new locations would be found so next let's see okay so let's try to see what happened here okay let's try to find what happened okay so this is there and now we go where are we going okay okay so here it comes okay so sorry for that interruption okay, again interruption so this is there now the hash function hash 2x must never evaluate to 0 because we know that hi of x is i into hash 2 of x so if your hash 2x somehow evaluates to 0 then there is no point in evaluating hash 2x hash 3x because all of them will be 0 okay so for example hash 2x is x modulo 9 if we take and try to insert 99 it will become zero and then there will be problem a function as we discussed r minus x modulo r where r is a prime number less than the table size works well now what we want here is that now we should have something we try out we have here h of x is x mod of 10 okay and h 2x is 7 minus x mod of 7 so we try to insert now these items okay 89 if i insert so it will be initially h i x so we know it is 
h of x plus f of i mod table size okay so h i x is this so now f of 0 is 0 okay so that's is the for this strategy for the closed hashing so what happens 89 it will be just 89 modulo 10 it is 9 so this will come to the place okay so we cannot see in fact so let's put it here okay somewhere here so a lot of logistics problem so now 89 would come here then we want to insert 18 so again 18 modulo 10 is 8 we will insert 18 here so now the state is 18 and 89 are here there is no collision next one 49 comes now if you see 49 modulo 10 is 9 and there is already an element 89 here so we will try out h1 of 49 which will be 9 plus f1 so it will be this i need to calculate hash 2x will be 7 minus 49 mod of 7 so 7 minus 0 which is 7 so 9 plus 7 percentage 10 so 16 modulo 10 which is 6 so this will be the state now so it will come here 49 so we have 18 89 so these are the cases next what happens we try to insert 58 58 modulo 10 will be 8 8 is already filled with 18 the cell 8 next we try out the next location so hash 2x is 7 minus 58 modulo 7 so 58 modulo 7 is 2 so this becomes 5 so your h 1 of 58 will be 8 plus 5 modulo 10 so 13 modulo 10 which is 3 okay so it 58 will come here okay it will be in 3 so 58 49 18 89 now finally let's try to insert 69 so 69 modulo 10 okay it's 9 again this place is already filled so 69 we find hash 2x so 69 for that a hash 2 of 69 becomes h2 69 will be 7 minus 69 modulo 7 so it is 6 1 so what happens is that h1 of 69 becomes 9 plus 1 modulo 10 so it becomes 0 so 69 goes to this 0 so 58 49 18 and 89 so this is how the table looks like after these many insertions so now we see this hash 2 while we were calculating so it gives us fast collision resolution okay so this is the strategy that is known as double hashing so i hope you understand this thanks a lot